beautiful people hello and welcome back to my channel my name is paula this is my corner of the internet where we're all about showing up for your brand on instagram running your online business and living your best life if you're new here you're welcome if you're returning you're welcome back um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can know every time I post a video which is almost always on Wednesdays and sometimes on Thursdays. If you're a new online entrepreneur, I know you already know that it's a jungle of apps and tools out there that are supposedly to help you grow your online business but really just feel like space mathematics. It's easy to get overwhelmed but in this video, I'm going to show you three easy to use tools that you can use when you're starting your online business that will help you grow. You're ready to build that empire and you don't want to lose the opportunity to grow. So every single app on every single tool that you see, you're ready to pay for, you're ready to download. But here's the thing, as a new entrepreneur, you want to reduce your overhead as much as you can. And there are lots of free tools that you can use for a start before you start earning enough money to increase your overhead. For a new online business owner, the main thing you need to invest in is a coach that will show you how this industry works, that will show you what you need to do to get where you want to get. You might not need one coach, but you know your business, you know what it is that you need to learn when. So you start and then you move on from there. Now, the coach that you need is the one that's going to help you get where you want to go because she has gotten there herself. In this video, I'm going to share with you the free tools and apps that I used when I was starting out and the ones that I was happy to pay for as soon as I could pay for them. Uh, the first thing is graphic design and I use Canva for that. I bet you already saw that coming. Canva did a thing in the online space. Like, I don't know any entrepreneur that has not used the Canva template. It is amazing and the beautiful part is I just found out that it's owned by a woman of color. I mean, of course. A Canva is the single most important app for your graphic design. As a service-based owner, you don't have a product to use so it's your expertise that you need to communicate to your audience. Now because Instagram is my platform of choice, in fact social media in general is visual, you have to find a way to put your messaging into a really pretty eye-catching visual and Canva gives you templates for that so you don't need to know design as an online business owner you just need to know the colors you want to use and what you want to communicate because some fonts are feminine some fonts are masculine the main thing is Canva allows you to use their templates free of charge those templates you can just edit them change the words and post it on Instagram how amazing is that every single graphic that I have used in my business has come from Canva. I'm not kidding you. I don't know Adobe. I don't know Photoshop. I don't know anything, any other tool. I don't, I'm not a graphic design person. I just learned how to use Canva and that is all I needed for my online business. I use it for everything. The post on my Instagram, Canva. The banner on this YouTube channel, Canva. The cover posts for my videos, Canva. Templates for my classes, workshops, courses, programs, you guessed it, Canva. And when I got to a place in my business where I could pay for tools, the first thing I paid is Canva. It goes to about um, 2,500 Naira a month. And as a newbie, you might not really need it, but now that I have clients of my own clients that I work with, um, lots of stuff that I use the Canva app for, I now need the paid resources. The paid is just like extra. There are some fonts that you can't use on the free version. There's some pictures that you can't use on the free version. So that's the only difference. Not like there are services that you cannot use. And then I think scheduling, you can also schedule only on the paid version. So for video editing, I use iMovie and InShot. Now, iMovie is available for iPhones. InShot works on both iPhones and Android. So if you don't have an iPhone, that's okay. You can still use InShot. And I use both because I do my editing on iMovie. And I edited this video on iMovie. And um, for InShot, InShot allows me to put a banner for just adjust it for Instagram basically. So it's not, they do basically the same thing when it comes to video editing except the banners. Um, they edit every type of video, reels, YouTube videos, IGTVs, regular posts, stories, whatever it is that you need to edit video wise, these two apps will do it for you. iMovie is free. InShot has a paid version, but you can use this, the free version and it will work just fine for you. And for my email marketing, I'm going to give you two softwares. We have ConvertKit and we have MailChimp. 
I use MailChimp now. As a matter of fact, I use both of them still. But when I started, ConvertKit was the easier one to use. MailChimp is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more upgraded and all, but ConvertKit is the simple tool, the simple software that you can use to send out your emails. To work with me, one of the first things we do is create a funnel for you because the main thing you need to do, the first thing as an online business owner you need to do is have access to your people. And Instagram gets to be funny sometimes. Instagram gets to shut down sometimes. Instagram gets to recall pages sometimes. Now, if you have three million followers and Instagram decides to close, you have lost everything. The trick as an online business owner is to use Instagram to convert people to your email list because that is the one you have. That's the one you can keep. So this is the software that you use to maintain email communication. So you use them to collect emails and send out emails. But speaking of which, you should join my email list because I send out tips regularly that will help you in your online business or your Instagram showing up or living your best life. I will drop the link in the description. So like I said, when I started, I started with ConvertKit, but I quickly moved to MailChimp and I'm using the paid version, but the free version, the main difference between the paid version and the free version is that um, the paid version allows you to send automated emails. So if I take one whole day to write my emails, I can write 10 emails to be sent out over 10 weeks and they'll do that for me. So that's what I pay them for. That's what the paid version mainly does. Or I can decide on this landing page, anybody who gets this ebook will get five to 10 emails afterwards. Anybody who gets this particular ebook. So I can basically give instructions and outsource that part of you know my business. For picture editing, I use Airbrush. The reason why you need a picture editing tool is because an online business is a visual business. You need to show your products, your service, yourself in the best possible light. Airbrush is a great tool for picture editing. Make sure you don't over edit your pictures, but you just want to put them in the best light possible. Sometimes a little brightness here, a little contrast here makes all the difference. If you cannot afford professional brand pictures, guys, just use airbrush. Use your phone, take that picture, best possible lighting. If you don't have a ring light, use natural light, use your phone, use airbrush to edit it and post it. You don't need professional brand pictures to begin. So if you're telling yourself that you cannot afford professional brand pictures, that's why you cannot start. I'm here to tell you that's an excuse. I just got professional pictures done this year, I think in May. So before that, everything before that, and even now I still take some pictures myself, has been with my phone and airbrush. Now the next thing is links. Listen to me, your business is not a small business, so you need to stop treating it like one. People don't care if you're just starting out or you've been here for 10 years. You have to look professional. And links are one very good way to look professional. Now, there are free link tools. You're only allowed one link on your Instagram page. This tool allows you to use that one link to host a number of other links. So anybody who clicks on that link goes somewhere where all your other links are. So you could have one link for your free ebook, one link for anybody who wants to book your one-on-one, -on -one, another link for anybody who wants to watch your YouTube video, another link for anybody. So whatever services you offer, you can list them with their links. Personally, I use Milkshake for my links. I have used Linktree, I have used Disha. Any of these work really. Now for my documents, I use Google Docs. The reason this is the best tool for me is because I can access it from anywhere. I can access it from my phone, I can access it from my laptop. If I don't have any of these with me, I know that whichever phone or laptop or device that I have, I can log in and continue my work from wherever I stopped, which is amazing. And if I want to share documents with my clients, I can just copy a link. I don't have to start carrying the whole thing and trying to send it through email. So this is what I use to hold my documents. Now, last but not least, the money. If you're running an online business, that means most of your clients are not going to be people that you see one-on-one. -on -one. So there's no cash involved. There's no physical cash involved. So you have to find a way for people to be able to pay you from any part of the world. Now, there are so many options out there and they're, even get, they're getting even more because really the world is becoming a global market. I'm going to give you a few that you can use immediately to collect money in Naira or dollars or pounds and a number of other currencies. So far, I've had people pay me through um, Paystack, pay from South Africa, from the US, from the UK. So yeah, so pretty much anywhere you can collect your payment through that. Sometimes we have Stripe. I've used Stripe for my clients, not for myself, but it worked for her. 
I've used Paystack, I've used Kobo course, and um, there's PayPal too. So whichever of these work for you, just get your money. The free versions of these tools will help you grow your business. The more you get to know what your business needs, the more you understand the tools that you have to pay for. Now, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you need me to make in the comment section. If you want any more videos about building your online business or your coaching business or your service-based business, let me know in the comments. Um, watch my other videos. There's so much value for you here. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.